my girl came out to me. She was like, babe, I like girls. I said, shit, me too. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's good, GTB? How you doing, family? Man, we back again with another video. Hey, man, this is another Jubilee video. I don't know if I'm uploading the last one I did. So just bear with me. Actually, you get this video to 10 likes, I'll upload the last one. Unedited, uncensored, all that. Just uploading it. We might get canceled, not gonna lie. But with that being said, we are ranking Can wait, the name of the video is Can a Hundred Strangers Find Who Had the Most Sex? Which is crazy. So basically we're figuring out who got the highest body count. I feel like not to be sexist or nothing, it's gonna be a woman. It's gonna be a porn star here. It's gotta be. We brought a hundred people together, and it's their job to figure out which one of them has the highest body count. Everybody has a number, but our sexual histories are not just about numbers. They're intertwined with our identity, self-esteem, and how we relate to each other. It's time to find the one. Okay. Are you guys ready to talk body count? Yeah. <laughs> so for the first round, please leap immediately if you think you have the lowest body count in the entire row. I don't get no bitches. I want to see who left, because I can tell who won. Look at all these whores. Last time discussed, you can only talk about how you lost your She fine as hell. <laughs> Virginity. Not gonna lie. I was 16, we both- Oh, YouTube story time? Virginity story coming soon on the main channel. Man, if you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Go sub to my other channel. All you gotta do- Hold on. Because this, this, this is this gonna be an ad. If you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing. Go sub to my other channel, bro. Like, that's more in-person content. I really be putting that shit on sometimes when I record on there. It's going to be a whole new version of me that you're going to see. You're going to see me going on shopping videos. I'm going to do uh, story times. I just did a Q&A video. Just come on, bro. Like, you're missing out on a lot. Telling you, lost the virginity at the same time, and I thought energy drink was romantic, so I poured in like wine glasses. I was um, on vacation when I was 20, that's how I lost. It. Okay, I was 20. I April. was 22, and I feel like I was on the older end of yeah. like what is like societally thought. I was actually a I guess a fairly late bloomer. Uh, when I started having sex, I was actually 22 years old and it was towards the end of college and I had my first kiss and had sex at the same time. I wow. had one other partner uh, between then and then being like 32 years old. So I had, went 10 years with just like two partners. I was on a show choir trip in Disney World. We ended up sneaking back to like our like Disney themed motel room. Okay, I already know that you're a freak. Cool choir trip to Disney and your mom there said enough said. I personally don't subscribe to the belief that your body count means much of anything about you because I don't think that sex necessarily needs to mean a lot about you. <sighs> she has a high body count. I'm sorry. I just feel like people that try to make up bullshit about their body counts or what it's supposed to mean, like, they got to hide body counts. To be honest with you, body counts don't matter. As long as you clean, you ain't catching no diseases, you being safe, your body count don't matter. I'm sorry. Now... <laughs> well, we, when you my age, you 22 or so, and you got like knocking north, knocking on a hundred's door. Slow your way down, niggas and bitches. Slow your way down, cause if you ain't caught nothing, you on to. I'm telling you that 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 
them diseases don't care about who you is, what you got going for yourself. They care about one thing. Fucking your life up. Word. I feel like it's like a, it's like a Pythagorean. I don't know. I feel like body count is a small part of sex, and sex is a small part of who you are. Probably so count high as overall, fuck. for me personally. So it's his. This nigga right here, this nigga got waves in the beard. <laughs> oh my god. Bitches in the hood love him. Are you enjoying this new pilot on Jubilee? Let us know by subscribing to this channel. Now let's get back to the video. Please leave the circle if you believe you have a lower than average body count. In three, two, one. The average US body count is 10.7 partners. Global, I don't know depth. <laughs> I don't know that P word. Program. I'm not gonna try. Okay, we have 39 people left. So for this next elimination, we need to eliminate people who believe they have average body counts. Now for this round, you can only talk about your preferences in bed or your kinks. I heard someone say, I'm an ass man. Okay, you're an ass man. Come on in, come on in. Harold was just telling us about his love for ass. She got nipple piercings. She a freak. <laughs> she a freak. <laughs> we include Jane. Yeah, she got the gats too. Shoot, that's why he said that. He's trying to get his shorty pants. People are brought up like pegging. Who mama lot, is that? But I can't tell if they're joking and, and if they're just trying to like. I'm fairly vanilla myself, I gotta say. Oh, he like white girls. What's up with that though? Because it seems more and more like as time goes on, it's not a lot of fully black people. It's more of a mixed breed. Like to myself, I feel like I got a little bit of Dominican in me. You feel me? Cause if you really look at me when I got my uh my hair like taken care of and stuff, with my face shaved like how it is now, I look like my name should be Alejandro or some shit. That's all I'm saying. I feel like the term vanilla is like shifting. Choking used to be like ah, but now it's just like okay, guess that that's part of my vanilla. Yeah, I remember the first time a guy like tried to choke me. He didn't like warn me ahead of time, and I was like, you know. Like, Right now. Butt stuff, foot stuff, and spit. This could get real. Hey, <laughs> that girl a freak. <laughs> she a big freak a link. Oh, weird guys. I had a girl accidentally like, pee on me, Ooh. and that was uh, accidental. I, <laughs> I don't think kinking necessarily correlates 100 percent though, because you can still have a high body. All right, fellas, Let, let's have this talk real quick, fellas. Cause I I ain't know some of y'all fellas. Y'all keep this on the DL, but I'ma speak up for us. When a girl is right, riding in the car with you, when she's riding in the car, you, you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying, when a girl is riding in the car with you, and she put her hand on your chest or on your type. You can't tell me that that ain't Max Payne. Because if you do, I think you're lying. Because <laughs> that shit is gas. <laughs> Sorry. I don't believe in monogamy. But if you're in Arkansas, you know, it's the Bible Belt. You don't talk about that. Right. So like, I'm a big advocate yeah. for, like, exactly. it shouldn't yeah. be something to be ashamed of. I realize that a lot of women are just. So if you think you have an average body count, please leave in three, two, one. Speaking about like my body count and body count as a whole, I'm probably still not really comfortable talking about it. But at the same time, I personally like I'm not really intimate unless I'm in relationships. So I feel like there's a clear pattern. <laughs> and then you can just kind of look through the Instagram and see the relationships and pretty you can do some basic basic math there and figure that out. So <laughs> Oh I will bet a lot of money she lying. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. She could be telling the God honest gospel. Would I put my life on it? Fuck no. <laughs> but I just don't believe it. I'm sorry. Oh, no. uh, see me. 
and then there were fewer. <laughs> what up, sluts? Whoa. So for this round, we have to narrow it down to 10 people. So seven people have to leave. For this round, to get to know each other a little bit more, you can talk about your professions. Go ahead. Okay. What do you do for work? Um, well, influencer and like social media stuff. You don't. She do OnlyFans. You ain't slick, bitch. <laughs> Oh, I know who she is, but I don't know, uh... I'm a theater I knew it! I knew it! I'm not gonna say how I know who she's talking about. We ain't gonna talk about that. But I knew it! I knew it was gonna be at least one. I used to be in the military, now I do sales, so... I used to be a software engineer. No sex work, no sex work. Because no. I think I that's what we're trying to suss out. Please only remain if you believe you're in the top 10 highest body count in the entire room. Otherwise, leave in three, two, one. No, you better sit your at. There you go. Okay. Wine. She go I don't think body count. Now I've made my choice. <laughs> She's going to be number one. <laughs> Determines if you feel good in your body, but I think personally for me, because of trauma, it definitely helped me kind of own myself. Because I am an exotic dancer, the word slut, hoe, whore, all get thrown at me all the time. And at first it worried me because I was worried about what other people think. But as I got older, I realized that labels don't matter because you don't really know what I've been through. You don't know me personally and the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and how it makes me feel personally. That's a lot of numbers. Actually, I'm gonna be honest. When she said she was a exotic dancer, stripper, I was expecting a lot more. 80 is not bad. I'm being honest. All right, now we're on our final 10 people. So everyone go around and exp And then also with girls, you gotta think about it like this. If it's 80, she got 80 bodies. Mm, I say 50 or less, or yeah, I say about 50% of those is girls. I say that with every woman. I be like, what's your body count? If they, no, I don't even ask that. First of all, they ask me. They think because I got pretty eyes, I got earrings, I used to have locks, and I wear ones all the time. I eat Jordan ones all the time. They be like, oh, you a thot, you a hoe. How many bodies you got? Mm -hmm. I got da 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 da. They be like, uh, be like, yeah, how many bodies you got? They be like, da 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 da. I be like, but how many of them is women? Da 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 da. I be like, okay, that means you've been with more women than you've been with men. I ain't tripping. Explain who they think the one is. I don't know. I feel like it's a really hard thing to look at someone huh. and just like assume that how many bitch people right there with the blonde wig. With. Um, and I've only okay. So I had a conversation with Carter earlier, and he, he told me that he was in the military. And in my experience, I know that the military men like to sleep around. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was 32, uh, pandemic me. hit. And I was actually in a relationship at the time with a woman, but I came out as uh, gay and I just had kind of been bottled up for. No. Ladies, how, do you, how would you feel in that situation? Like, you in a pandemic, you can't really leave. And a nigga come out to you like, hey, babe, I'm gay. Pause. But I'm gay. How would you feel about that? Like... How would you how would you honestly feel about that? Tell me below in the comment section, please. Cause I honestly wanna know. Cause like if my my girl came out to me <laughs> My girl came out to me, she was like, babe, I like girls. I said, shit, me too. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, my dumb ass. Or you know, my entire life uh, and just like felt repressed in so many different ways, uh, one of which was sexually. So that was Whoa. Whoa. I was not expecting that. 139? Span of the last three years. That it was. 
Damn. Okay, hold on. We're going to do some math real quick. So, um, it's 365 days in a year times three years. That's a, a thousand ninety five. So, hold on, keep that in your mind. Ten ninety five. So, boom, 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 boom. What you want to do is he got one hundred thirty nine. He hit at least twice. So, one hundred thirty nine times two. Then you're gonna subtract ten ninety. That's actually not a bad ratio. I'm be honest. <laughs> Avery. Did I wear my sluttiest garb today? <laughs> Does anyone here know what a fet life is? I feel like I've seen her before. Oh, what? <laughs> Does anyone here know what a fet life is? Oh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> is that like fetish? Oh, I'm not explaining, but yeah. Like, pick I can a explain. Pick a so, like, me. I think he answered the question for me. <laughs> she doing a lot of writing. How much the fuck? Wait, what? The fuck is that at the end? Minus one over zero? I don't know what the fuck that is, but... <laughs> Two, 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 make a wish, head ass. Nah, but, uh, damn. I was not expecting that. I kind of can see it, though. First instinct, I would have said Jesse, but now that Frank was talking about fat life, which I have no idea what that is, I would have, I would have to say it's Frank, probably. <laughs> I think it's Avery. You know why? Because your wig is long, so that tells me you must like it long, too. That caught me off guard. I'm not gonna lie to you. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Nigga um, came for her whole head. Frank very confidently asserted that it was him, so it could be him. St statistically, I'm like several standard deviations above the mean for sure. But also, I was talking to Avery about her profession, and she was talking about uh, her friend Kazumi, who like popped up on my TikTok feed, and she talks about how she. She does sex uh, professionally. And like, I think a lot of it, she's like very popular. And like, <laughs> maybe through like, you guys might know each other from work or something like that. So uh, Frank, or, Frank or Avery? Um, I would guess Fra Frank or Laura. Can we get her in like her own little shit so I can analyze and see if I've seen her before? And honestly, I would put also no no offense, no offense, no offense, but Miss Yvette, I want to put you in my top three because I feel. Hell yeah, Miss Yvette was that freak Nick oh, when it first started. I feel. Oh I think shit! That's my motor Come on, we gotta hurry up and finish because no, my camera finna so open. I feel like you just, I feel like you have fun. I, I have fun. Yeah, you you I, see fun. Max. It seems like you guys all wanted to vote for Frank. Do we agree that Frank is the one? Yes. Hold on, I'll be back. Time to find out if Frank is the one. It ain't Frank, it's Shorty, I'm telling you. Shorty got like three bands. That was very sexist, I'm sorry. If the light is green, you are the one. If the light is red, you're not the one. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Fuck is a fit life. I like this music. I knew it. 
this shorty ass. How many buys that nigga got? So Frank, you are actually not the one. How do you feel? Indifferent. <laughs> uh, you know, for people who are like really into the kink world, uh, you know, looks can be very deceiving. Tim? Oh, he only got okay, 66. Thanks so much, Frank. Wow. Time to find out who the one really is. The one. Watch to be her. I'm waiting on it. Is Avery Jane. I Please knew it! It's gonna be a porn star here. It's gotta be. Predator. What the fuck I tell you? Soon as I found out she did porn, I knew it was her. Word. Influence of my ass. I just sent that little pussy. It's cool though. No judgment. How many bodies she got? So, what do you think this game taught us? Um, that you can't really. Like look in a room full of people to tell who's like the sluttiest or Bullshit. has the highest I body did. count or make any assumptions about anyone's sexuality. Bullshit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so I absolutely knew coming into today that I was the one. I feel like I've seen him before, but I can't put a finger on it. Unless one of my coworkers is gonna be here and they weren't. So Avery, would you be comfortable sharing your body count? So at this point, I don't actually know my exact body count. I stopped keeping track. It's like definitely over a thousand for sure. Shit. Come on, come on, we almost done. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, my shit, my shit is overheating. We gonna have to bust this bitch out. Shit. Sure. Yeah, I do. I am an adult. Literally don't know anymore. Oh, so. performer and actress. Okay. Um, so I get around a lot. <laughs> thank you for sharing, and thank you guys for being here, and thanks for watching. <laughs> Find me on the hub. That being said, man, that's the end of that video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube shit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this outro out the way, but I found who she is. Hey, dog. Avery Jane, make sure y'all go look her up <laughs> on the Dukes. But that's it for this video man if you like this video go ahead comment like subscribe do all that youtube shit man just make sure you share this with the people you know and you don't know because they're gonna like this shit for so man i'm telling you and with that being said man i'm out peace